Hi, today I'd like to share with you a head support that I learned recently from Donna Fari from one of her online restorative yoga classes. Um, and it's a little bit of origami, but it's really worth it actually if you're coming into a yoga nidra or for relaxation. So we need a bath towel and quite a, quite a fluffy bath towel um, for a bit of softness and support. And it's one of the kind of smaller ones. So it's not huge bath towels. I've measured this one. I think it's about 135 centimetres by 70 centimetres, but it's that sort of size. And then I'm going to begin by folding the edges up. So I've got the those two at the bottom and this is the creased at the top just here. And then I'm going to begin again to fold it one more time. So it's almost like we're folding it into quarters here as well. So laying it out nice and flat. And then I'm going to begin to take these top two corners down into a sort of triangle shape. And what I'm doing here is I'm also leaving a little bit of a gap down the centre. So hopefully you can see that on the camera. And there's a sense of the back of our head is going to be lying here. So it's a little bit of a dip. From here, I'm going to begin to take the outside corners, these out corners here, and fold those in to meet the top of this triangle. So I'm beginning to fold those in just like that. And again, I'm keeping this little bit of a gap down the centre here. So this is where we then need to flip it over. So there's a case here of basically trying to hold everything into place and flipping it over. So you've got the top of the triangle here at the top and we've got the two ends just here. And funnily enough, my cats just appeared to join me. So I know pets always know when it's time for relaxation. So I'm going to begin to find the back of my head here in that little bit of a dip. So if you imagine your cervical spine, your neck, continuing an imaginary line up at the back of the head, that's what we're looking for here. So we're going to begin to find the support underneath our head. And it's almost like you've got a little bit of a cradle there. And it might take a little bit of manoeuvring as you get into it. And then from here, I like to tuck the ends gently under. So these corners, I'm tucking, tucking them under, almost under my neck. So they stay where they're put. I'm going to tuck this one all the way under the neck. So there's no kind of creases or uncomfortable folds in contact with my skin. And then I'm beginning to tuck this a little bit more snugly around my head and neck. And what you could do with these bits at the side is almost tuck them in a little bit closer to your ears. So that can offer perhaps a little bit more quiet if you find that helpful. And what I found with this particular comfort shape here is it's just a little bit more supportive it's almost as if your head is being held in comparison, sorry Mrs. Cat, in comparison to a cushion or a foam block or something else that you might be using. But and it can take a little bit of time to kind of manoeuvre into it and just find the right position for you. I think when I came into that just there, I'd move my gap a little bit too wide. So I'd be likely to, to refold it. But it's really worth having a little play if you have time. Um, and just another extra support for relaxation or yoga nidra.